Paul Carey, a Finnish politician, said, Men and women have their roles. Their roles are different, but their rights are equal. Welcome to another session of Gems for Life on Towards Equality. When we hear the word equality, different types of social status strike our mind. But in this lesson, we are going to discuss a different type of equality, that is gender equality. Men and women are considered masterpieces of God, the Creator. Both are created with unique gifts and qualities. Both are designed to reflect the beauty of the Creator in their own unique way. Men and women, one is not above or below the other, but together complete the divine designs of the Creator. Let us look on to this conversation in a classroom between Sir Thomas and Mario. Sir Thomas usually began his class with questions. So once, he asked Mario, What is your father? He is a bank manager. What about your mother? She has no special job. When does she wake up? I don't know. When I get up, she is already awake. When does she go to sleep? I don't know that also. When I go to sleep, she is still awake. Why does she get up so early and go to sleep so late? Mother has plenty of work, sir. Then what did you say earlier? You said she has no work. That we never consider the work of our mothers as something to be paid attention to. It is our habit to take things for granted, whatever they may do. We do not give due consideration. Though our mothers are not given salary or wages for their work, still it is worth considering. Think of the work when your mother is absent at home. We know everything at home will be a mess. But why do we tend to underestimate the women profile? It is because we live in a patriarchal society, a society where men are given more importance than women. So mentality of Mario and others like him has evolved from the patriarchal nature of our society. In this kind of society, People are likely to think that men deserve more respect than women. A patriarchal society believes that men are superior to women because they are stronger and hence they should be the administrators of the society and must be considered as protectors of the household. In the ancient times, there was differentiation based on household duties. Men were considered breadwinners, whereas women were expected to stay at home, look at the household chores and look after the upbringing of the children. Although family responsibilities never reduced the human dignity, but in such households, children fail to respect their mothers as they respect their fathers. So, such a system has to be changed. The attitude should be changed for equality of men and women. Madam Michelle Obama, the former First Lady of US, said no country can ever truly flourish if it stifles the potential of its women and deprives itself of the contribution of half of its citizens. So now the time has changed. The significant feature of a civilized society is the respect and value that people give 
to women in that society and the stand they take for women's progress development and safety nowadays men and women together run the family affairs in consultation and collaboration there are differences between men and women with regard to physical structure biological functions psychological experiences and behavior but in human dignity and human rights nobody can differentiate them boys and girls should get proper guidance from homes and schools on real dignity of women in order to eradicate the gender discrimination prevalent in our society boys and girls have to be trained to place their confidence in the intelligence mental health and spiritual possibilities of girls as we are living in the era where the youngsters highly use the social media so sometimes they are influenced by the women in beauty fashion modeling serial and cinema world but that is not the proper interpretation for the image of a woman let us listen to manushi chiller miss world 2017 contestant number 3 india hello and your question is which profession deserves the highest salary and why um since i'm very close to my mother i think uh a mother deserves uh the highest respect and uh when you talk about salary i don't think it's just about uh about cash but i feel it's the love and respect that you give to someone and uh i think uh, my mom is has always been the biggest inspiration in my life and all mothers they just sacrifice so much for their kids so the profession which deserves the highest salary the highest respect and love i should should be of a mother thank you india even at such a level she kept her moral values high so we should remember that girls should become remarkable in society not on account of their beauty but by their intellect mental health motivating presence and they should be trained to acquire decent strong and attractive personality through social observation good education and reading in the modern age we can see women are involved in public places and jobs even they have proved that no field or area is beyond the reach of their capacities girls should grow in the realization of their own mental and spiritual potentials as a woman she need not to be kept aloof from any field of activity girls should also realize that their dignity is in their greatness behavior nobility and gentleness not only in just beauty they should not expose themselves as a showpiece instead reflect their self esteem commitment and compassion to draw real inspiration we have lots of women who have made their mark in different fields like art literature politics business and social activities these days it's a very common trend in the advertisement world that female beauty is being misused just to amass money but this kind of trend is reducing female dignity children boys and girls are misled through this so we should fight against such social evils and stay aware at every stage of life boys should be trained to respect and revere girls and women when boys relate with girls they must see a dignified human that is as individuals with intelligence dignity and personality even to disregard gender discrimination division of labor can be considered always treat the opposite gender as equals 
and friends. Try to give them their required space. For every generation, education is the key to fight from social evils. As Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Let's look on to the example of the Indian state of Kerala. In the 19th century, there were extreme segregations and inequalities existed in our country with regard to caste and gender. But Kerala was different in this regard. Saint Chavra emerged as the patron for imparting education to all the sections of society without any discrimination. Saint Chavra also initiated a Sanskrit school, printing press and also established educational institution adjacent to church began men and women religious congregation like CMI and CMC. These congregations worked for women education and other women upliftment programs. And in this way, inequalities based on caste and gender has decreased at a very highly appreciable rate in Kerala and due to which the literacy increased and as a result Kerala has the highest literacy rate in India. So the main thing we learn from this lesson is gender is natural and unchangeable. We should not underestimate or discriminate anyone on its basis. Gender equality is not just women's issue. It's a human issue which affects all of us never stop learning as life never stops teaching treat everyone equally in the words of american comedian george carlin men are from earth women are from earth deal with it